only I could talk like Blur from the Transformers, I could properly introduce this. But since I can't, I'll just pull back and let this marvelous packaging speak for itself. From Micro Machines, it's the Star Trek Generations Spaceship Collection. Sent to the show by The Black Toaster. Four bucks. That is a bargain when you get three starships. The USS Enterprise NCC-1701B, the Klingon Bird of Prey, and the NCC-1701D. Now, Star Trek nuts should know the differences between these two. This one was commanded by Picard, and this one had uh, the guy from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, who didn't do a very good job. To boldly go where no one has gone before. Micro Machines from Galoob. Star Trek Generations was actually a good movie. I remember when that came out, I was skeptical because I was a huge fan of the Next Generation TV show and wasn't sure if it was going to make a good transition to film. And while it wasn't the best Star Trek movie, it did have some pretty good lines in there. And uh, Malcolm McDowell was a great bad guy. We got the Bird of Prey, Enterprise, Enterprise D. And we can look over here and you can see they have a bunch of other Star Trek sets. Uh, and, and I'll show you some more Star Trek vehicles from Micro Machines in a different video. I saw just at, at Target the other day that they got a whole lot of Star Wars stuff coming out right now. Or I guess that's been out. The saucer mode detaches. Well, that's good. How else can you accurately play Star Trek? More importantly, does it have a hollow deck? I think I can speak for all of us when I say that when the holodeck becomes real, we're all in trouble. <laughs> I love it when they have multiple layers of prices. I feel like peeling this off and seeing what, what it started at. I'm gonna go with $14.95, that's my guess. Let's see if I'm right. Counselor Troy, your assistance is requested in the holodeck. I sort of mangled this. I can't tell if it started at $15 or $5. If it was 15, I would definitely win that by the Price is Right rules. Just in case you're concerned that maybe I'll run out of Star Trek Micro Machines, have no fear. Tim really hooked this show up. Celebrating 50 years of Star Trek by playing with Micro Machines. They look nice on their little stands, don't they? Not bad. They're like Hot Wheels, but smaller and voiced by Blur from the Transformers. Here's a look at the NCC-1701D. Yes, I used to watch a lot of TNG. It's really one of my favorite shows of all time, so pretty excited about this, and sure enough, you can pop the saucer section off, but... Whoa, off the table. And here's the headless remains of the NCC-1701D. Makes you wonder why they even bothered with the saucer at all. As long as the holodeck was in this part of the ship, we don't even need the rest of it. Bing bing. Paging, Ensign Row, please make your way to the holodeck. Dress accordingly. Here's the classic game room map, back in service. And Tim, from Louisville, is getting on the map. Right here. Thank you, Tim. For all of the awesome spaceships and Lando Calrissian themed stuff. Only on Star Trek can Whoopi Goldberg make a mean gin and tonic. I guess you do need the saucer section for that. So here, here you go. Star Trek Micro Machines, properly placed on the stands this time. If you, I had them flipped around earlier and the Enterprise kept crashing, so it's very important to have the stands aligned properly. Nice, fairly well detailed collectibles considering these cost $4, or possibly 15, we don't know for sure how much the other one was, the original price. The NCC-1701B, even it hates Jar Jar Binks. In fact, if you're creative, you can also play action scenes from other Star Trek movies. We could, we could reuse the same shot over and over again. Star Trek 1, Star Trek 2, Star Trek 3, Star Trek 4, Star Trek 
we'll just skip that one. Star Trek 6. Here's a look at the underside, and you can fly it around like you're attacking nuclear vessels. Boo, boo, boo. That was Star Trek 4, but who's counting? I would have to say that my absolute favorite Star Trek vehicle of all is 7 of 9. Galaxy Neo Geo. Boldly going where no micro machines have gone before. The intergalactic space arcade next to the Bentley CompuVision. Oh, and the Carbonator. You know, I didn't even realize until you guys told me that this was a bottle opener. Stardate 1982. We've encountered a giant beer in the wood grained Neo Geo galaxy. After trying repeatedly to communicate with the giant beer, I have decided to just open it with the spaceship. Damn it, Jim! The beer's getting warm! The best part of this is that I didn't actually expect the saucer section to land on top of the giant beer. Bing bang! Dr. Beverly Crusher, assistance required in the holodeck. Please dress like a nurse. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From New Jersey. Michael Fernandez. People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver. Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia. Philip Straubenmuller from Vienna, Austria. Austria. Cue the thunder. Jeff, Captain Dauntless, Briar. Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh, hi, Cunny. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale, Fighter of Space Bees! Woo! Rick DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson! Nelson. Fighters of the future! That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud and the party rocking for Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular! Will! Will! Will? Will? Will! Will. <laughs>